morning. Mm. It's 10.44 in the morning. I must stop doing that. Saying morning and then saying in the morning. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, quarter to ten, quarter to eleven in the morning, and it's a Friday. Yeah, and uh, maybe a trouble getting up this morning. My brain wasn't. We mustn't rely on the brain. You see, the brain is just very protective. If it knows you're comfortable, it wants you to. It won't do anything to jeopardize that relaxation so what you have to do is you have to just get up without thinking just automatically and here I am as a result of it now I did put the parking there's a thing on Google Maps where as soon as you park um, you press your location you know the blue circle that means which is which is like you on the radar but if you press that it gives you some options like save your parking and i did that yesterday and this morning i wasn't sure where i parked because there's so many roads now around here so many places i parked that i i looked on the map and i couldn't see it and i knew deep i knew i knew it was here obviously but I wondered why it didn't uh, appear on the map. So I'm a bit disappointed with Google about that. Um, and I'm not going to have any breakfast this morning because uh, I had a kebab takeout last night. And uh, I feel guilty because I feel guilty afterwards. Up until. After I've had the kebab, I feel guilty for having something really unhealthy. And then the following morning, then I said to myself, I want to have a quick breakfast the following morning to make up for it. And at the moment, I don't feel like a quick breakfast. And I was thinking of skipping breakfast altogether so that I could have uh, a takeout, have one good meal a day. I've really gone off the cheese and onion sandwiches though. I'm beginning to feel queasy. Uh, that's not good. And I don't have to, cook, as I said, I don't have to cook breakfast. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Morrison's again and see if they've got any water. I'm down to my last bottle so I think I'll get another one of those. And uh, after that, I don't know, I'll, uh, I'll keep you informed. Right, that's enough of me wobbling on. Warbling on. And off I jolly well go.
Right, yes. <laughs> I took a wrong turn in. I'm still getting used to these roundabouts. So, uh, of course, I got lost in a Sainsbury's car park. <laughs> cool, the almighty. Anyway, here I am at Morrison's, and I'm in the underground car park, which is quite nice and uh, pleasant. Sort of calming, if you like. Protective, almost. Right, I'm going to pop out now and uh, have a look at the Morrison's. You know, I don't know those big bottles that are the one liter. I think they're two liters or five liters, maybe. I don't know those two liter bottles that I have in the hotel. See what uh, if theirs is seventy pence a bottle, and just walk around, see what takes my fancy, and uh, come right back again. Right, I've been to Morrison's. Well, I'm still at Morrison's with them in the car park. Um, yeah, just walked around the aisles. I got something that I was going to get next week, uh, so that was handy. And the bottle of water is the same as Tesco, same size, same price. So I got one. Um, and here I am, really. I was going to get, I was ne I nearly got a sandwich, a cheddar roni sandwich, or a cheese and tomato sandwich, or a cheese and pickle sandwich, and I thought, no, I'm not going to have breakfast. That way, I can have, I can go out later. Um, I don't know if I'll have another takeout because I had a takeout yesterday. I don't want to have, don't want to get into a. Well, not a habit, but I don't want to uh, get a takeout if I had one yesterday. So I might make the effort to go for a walk somewhere. Uh, a lot of burger joints in town, and I have to start thinking about ticking them off one by one. Yeah. But not now. Now I'm going to just drive along the coast and then head back to the hotel and edit yesterday's video and then have a siesta. I seem to be having a lot of siestas this week. And then when I'm peckish I'll pop out and have a said meal. There is no said meal but <laughs> I haven't decided what meal I'm going to get but it will be a uh, pop out and get a meal. That's the beauty of of it. It's the unknown is what to have. I just said burger so <laughs> probably I might pop into a burger joint but I don't know. They're too, uh, they're too uh, luxurious so I might get a McDonald's. There's no Burger King I don't think. There's a I think McDonald's or is it KFC doing a line on nasty burgers so I see whoever does that and get one of those a bit pricey but it looks tempting there's only one thing to do when you're tempted and that's to uh, give in to it <laughs> right enough waffling on again as usual um, it's time to go.
I've lost the gain. <laughs> but yes, and I managed to get a parking space quite easily. And it's not that far. And in between the parking space and the hotel, I found this little quaint bakery. And I thought, I wonder if they do a cheese roll. And they did. They do a cheese and tomato roll. So I thought I'd uh, purchase one and have it for, I guess, brunch. It's gone 12 now. So that's what I'm having now with the leftovers of... The Pringles sour chive, sour chive, what's it called? <laughs> the sour cream uh, fiesta crisps. And uh, so watch a bit of telly, do some editing, and then have a siesta so yeah that's the plan this film is called a boy on the dolphin or a boy on a dolphin and it stars Alan Ladd as you can see and Sophie Loren and you'll see that Sophie Loren she stepped down so that he would appear taller and uh, in most of Alan Ladd's films, the actor or actress would have to uh, stand in the dugout in order for Alan Ladd to appear taller because in real life, um, it, it's not certain how tall he was, but uh, I think he, on average he was 5'7" five foot seven inches so and the film is on now funny enough on talking pictures TV Just put the telly on because I've been out, as you saw in the, <laughs> as you saw, I was outside uh, filming the waves from the uh, pier. And uh, the reason why I popped out was because the cleaner arrived about twenty two two, and the time now is probably half past three. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. Oh, half past two so yeah 20 to 2 and it's half past two now right i'm going to uh, make a cup of coffee and freshen up and i suppose start on the edit before i have a siesta
it's 10 o'clock and I've just commenced export of yesterday's video Thursday's video and I've been editing since oh I don't know actually maybe two or three or four hours um, and I haven't thought about my meal yet so I'm going to while this is exporting dash out and get it so here goes well, I'm popping out now the only problem is it's it's not it is dark but uh, the car is parked <laughs> quite a way not too far but it's going to be a eight minute walk or so right I'm off now and uh, next time you see me I'll hopefully have the goods <laughs> again yep that was quite a walk but uh, never mind it's a Friday as well so the chances of me finding a parking space and at night time in the dark will be interesting still nothing ventured nothing gained I'm off now to get the mill. It's uh, shrouded in secrecy at the moment, isn't it? Hopefully it will all be revealed. Right. Lights. Camera. Action. Take out 
while I was out, I I left the laptop exporting and uh, left the telly on and a light on, just so uh, people outside think I'm in, you know. Right. Uh, you want to see inside the bathroom? You can, you can if you like, but it's just... Um, yes, so here I am. I've... Uh, it wasn't too bad the trip I managed to find a parking space um, about two roads away which is about four minute walking distance so that's good however the drink that came with the meal fell out the bag and onto the pavement <laughs> Um, I wonder why she didn't pack the drink in the bag with the rest of the food. And when I put the drink in the bag myself, she didn't say a word. And I, f I know now. I I know now why. So it's a meal, sands, um, a diet cola. Right, it's time to unveil the mysterious meal. I was watching that film that was on in the background. Is a, uh, I think it's called The Whole Truth with Stuart Granger playing a film producer. Again, another one of these low budget, low budget, British noirish type thrillers. Right, the restaurant in question. The restaurant, first of all, was KFC. And the meal was something called a Dirty Louisiana. Um, Right, I'll do a further reveal shortly. What I was going to say was, with regards to the film, is that uh, there was a time when I used to be an avid follower Of Big Brother but uh, since I've come here to respawn it's uh, my TV habits have been uh, all over the place <laughs> um, I don't know why I suppose Big Brother has come to an end anyway there, there won't be any more series on on English tele on British television this is the final series and I'm not surprised it hasn't really gripped me this 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 year um don't know what I'm uh, waffling on about I'm going to show you now the actual contents of the mill and this is the mill first of all the sides Not sure what these are. I think they're a couple of wings. Um, I'll tell you for sure. Uh, right. Hmm. Not sure actually what this is I think it's a couple of wings all right this is the dirty Louisiana it's uh, it looks like a king uh, not king size a Big Mac so I just I've got some sauce on my fingers just now and 
I, I licked it thinking it was mayonnaise, but it's quite uh, quite hot in terms of chili, chilliness. So this is the Dirty Louisiana. I saw it advertised on the bus stop yesterday, and it sort of gave me the idea for tonight's meal. Right, I'll have a taste of this, and uh, if I remember to, I'll report back.